What's really good? It's your boy Capital DC. We are here in the home studio. We have we gotta flip it, keep moving. You know what I'm saying? So we doing our thing. I got my man DVD in the house. You know what I'm saying? Recording some stuff. And um, today I wanted to bring to y'all. Now that I'm looking right into the camera, I wanted to bring to y'all a very good friend of mine, uh, Buffalo's very own comedian, and also New York State's very own comedian, uh, my man D'Angelo Washington. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like, yeah. yeah, that was my worst one. And really, man, like. Bombing, doing comedy, I probably felt the worst I ever felt in my life. Like, wow. Because it's just you. You don't have, ain't no excuse. Like, with football, basketball, you got a team, or maybe even with a movie, you could say the director did something. Nah, it's just you on the stage with a mic. And if you fuck up, you fucked up. <laughs> All right, so here we go. It's your boy, Capital DC. Uh, here we go. Peace. What's really good? My bad about the kids in the background, bro. Nah, it's all good. Bro. It's all good. It's all good. Man, I'm D'Angelo Washington, man. Probably one of the funniest niggas in the world, man. That's yeah. right. Um, but don't listen to what Dono said. DC, my bad. I ain't know. <laughs> Be capital DC. <laughs> exactly. Don't listen to what he said, man. My comedy career not really going that good, man. Uh, I did a show in Rogers the other day. Shit, it wasn't nothing but three niggas in there. <laughs> oh. I ain't even tell jokes, nigga. We just played space. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even no sense in trying to. You might as well run a Boston on these niggas or something, man. <laughs> <laughs> For real. Let's go. All right, man. So, uh, what made you want to do comedy? I know you, you did some theater back when we was rolling and doing yeah, our thing. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Did some films. You did a movie that was downtown. They showed the movie downtown. That's, you know, I ain't too much, man. You know what I mean? Now, my whole life, I've been, I swear, I was an easy target. Oh, no. I look white, and I'm from the hood. <laughs> and I was, like, a chubby nigga, so... I had to, you know how that shit go in the lunchroom. Man, shoot. I had to be on top of my game. So I've always been a funny dude. Um, shit, I just, one day I just decided to just go ahead with it, man. Um, people just kept telling me I was funny. Um, and one day, uh, matter of fact, shout out to my boy Billy Whalen. Matter of fact, I went to high school with him. He a stand-up comedian. Um, he told me about an open mic one day, and I just went. And since then, it, it just was a go. It was a go from there, man. That's what's up, bro. So, uh, how many shows have you done so far? Man, I've been doing it. And when I first started doing it, I wasn't serious about it. I was That was just something I was trying out. Um, so, I don't really count those shows. But since I took it serious, well over 20. Wow. And just well Buffalo or you said Rochester? No, nah, I've, been, I've been in Rochester. Um, I've been... To Rochester, I've been to Syracuse, Buffalo, Niagara Falls, basically everything around here. I, I done been there and did it. Damn, um, that's what's up. As a matter of fact, shout out to my boy Terry King, man. Yes, sir. Cause really, he the reason why I stuck with it. Cause when I first started doing stand up comedy, like I said, my man that put me on, his name is Billy Whalen. So you could probably imagine what his complexion looked like. Uh -huh. Um, <laughs> and you know what I mean. They don't really. <laughs> He African. He African. That'd be funny. He African. <laughs> <laughs> He's South African. Dude, but. <laughs> nah, but they don't. They don't. Um, it's it's weird, man. I don't want to try to stir nothing up. But when I first started, I was doing the little buyers on Elmwood and um, stuff like that. And you don't get the same respect as as a comedian. I'm gonna just leave it like that. Mm. Niggas don't respect what you do as as much when you're not like them. Um, it was times where. I was supposedly getting six, seven minutes, and it, it, I was getting—I felt like I was getting cut short. But that, maybe that was just me. But one, a couple of times, I turned my phone on in time to time, and they was cutting me off at three minutes, four minutes. Wow. Other people was getting ten minutes, eleven minutes, and we was supposed to be getting seven. So it was just shit like that. But Terry King was the first dude that I knew in the town that was doing it in the urban community. I'm gonna say it like that. Um, that's the first show I did in front of people that. I can relate to was one of his shows mm -hmm. um because i was thinking about honestly stopping this shit because i don't know i felt like people wasn't receiving me well um but he he gave me a chance i respect bro for that shit he's still on his grind too Fast. Check, check my boy out terry king on this day yo i know he he had a movie out called april's fool and that was like years ago so i know yeah. he probably got some other stuff in the works now yeah man so uh so where do you see yourself going from here man i'm like you know people seeing you right now you know what I mean? Yeah. So, uh, um, shit, I'm trying to, I'm trying to 
trying to do it for the town, man. I'm trying to do it for Buffalo, for real, for real. Um, I'm about to start doing videos. That's really that's that was like my passion anyway before. I started doing com well, stand-up comedy. Mm -hmm. I always used to want like I got a, you know you shot the one video I did the uh, Denzel uh, training. Oh, day. that was so hilarious! Yeah, the I training forgot. day spoof. That was years ago. Huh. All right, I'm putting cases on all you. Huh? Huh? King Kong ain't got on me. Man, that was a minute. That was years ago. So that was a good one. I'm trying to get back to that, and but with that. I want to be legit, like, because anybody can just take their phone out and make a video and, you know what I mean, and, and do it like that. Yeah. I'm trying to get a camera. I'm trying to get lights, like something like how you got, man. I'm trying to get lights, cameras, that. all that shit so I could, it can look good because anybody can be funny. Well, maybe not anybody. There's a lot of people that's funny. What's different what you doing compared to what everybody else is doing? I feel like if I got that quality, uh, they won't be able to deny me. You got to market yourself. Yes, sir. That's what's up. So, what was like your uh, your best performance, worst performance? <laughs> I'm gonna start off with my worst performance. <laughs> so, it was in Rochester, and I was on. I, I was. I was at the time that I got this performance. I was uh, buzzing a little bit. Like I had just did a show with my boy Joel James. Shout him out too. Uh, Good luck on that Steve Harvey shit. That's you know, he was on Heart of the City with Kevin Hart. That's what's and up. I didn't know that that night they was actually filming for Heart of the City. Obviously, I got cut out. But I killed that show, though. I got the show that I fucked up at through him. Somebody was at his show, seen me do my thing, called me like, yeah, come down here, bro. We're going to pay you this and a third, do the show. I was like, cool. Went down there. I was with my man. We, uh, I met, I fucked around and smoked some moon rock. Before the show. Now, I don't know if you know what Moon Rock is. You're not supposed to smoke a whole blunt of Moon Rock. You're supposed to mix that shit with weed. No. He smoked a whole blunt of it. And, well, I bombed. Terribly. What? I still got paid. <laughs> I still got paid. I still got paid. <laughs> but it was, that was like probably the, the worst transaction of money ever. Because the dude that paid me was the dude who did the show. And I obviously know I fucked up. He knew too, so like, the way he handed me the money was, that was funny. He was mad, he didn't want to give it to me. But these shits work though, so I was definitely... <laughs> you know, like, yeah, that was my worst one. And really, man, like, bombing, doing comedy, I probably felt the worst I ever felt in my life. Like, wow. Cause it's just you. You don't have ain't no excuse. Like with football, basketball, you got a team, or maybe with, even with a movie, you could say the director did something. Else. Nah, it's just you on the stage with a mic. And if you fuck up, you fucked up. <laughs> and then I had to sit in the club because my man was going after me, and I told him I was gonna watch his show too. So I had to stay. <laughs> that was the worst part. <laughs> so that was my worst show. Honestly, I had got too cocky though. Like to be real, that's what happened. Um, since I had started doing stand up, I hadn't wrote a joke up until that point. Like, I never had wrote a joke up oh, until wow. that point. I was just freestyling and it was working for me. So I guess I was getting a little too cocky. And that was a big show, too. Mm. And I, I wasn't prepared. So wow. since then, I've been writing. That's going to lead me into you said my best show. I feel like I feel like that was recently. Um, I did a show. Shout out my boy Richie Santana. He do this Thursday night, uh, Thursday night live shit, first Thursday every month. Um, recently, I just did a show there and I killed that shit. That felt good. In comparison to bombing. <laughs> real. Wait, when you was bombing, like, what was you saying? You just was saying doodle doo -doo shit? Or? It just, it wasn't flowing. I don't know how to ex even explain it. Like, it's hard to even explain, bro. Well, listen, I don't know what Moon Rock is or what it does. So, were you just too Moon high? Rock, yeah. Moon Rock is like, we sticky on steroids. Like... It looks like some nasty shit. Yeah. yeah. You break that shit up, it's gooey it's inside. It's gooey on the inside. Because they, they take the weed and they roll it in some hash oil. And then they roll that and keep. And they let that sit. And that's when we rock. That shit, corrupt. That's corruption. Corrupt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's just that's crazy. Yo, I, I, you know, I'm not going to. I know now I would never smoke that shit before it show again. <laughs> I know that. But I would definitely smoke it before it <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> just not at the show. Not at the show. <laughs> but even Dave Chappelle and Kevin Hart said they bombed before it too, so I mean good company. That's it's what's just, up. Uh, it don't feel good though. Nah, I'll tell you that. As long as you don't bomb in life, bro. Yeah. Hey, that's what's up. So uh Okay, uh, do you see anybody in the town competing with you or on your level or like somebody you would see yourself being like, yo, I'm about to go on tour. I want to take these three cats with me. If it was just three, I had to say, ah, oh, man. Because honestly, right now, I'm, it's like a whole movement going on in Buffalo, like with this comedy shit. Like, like I said, I spoke about Terry King earlier. Um, he doing it big, actually. Would you take um, him with you? Definitely take Terry King with okay. me. Okay. Um, Jasmine March, I don't know if you ever heard of her before. Most people did in the town. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. She really killing it in Buffalo for the ladies. She said she really killing it, period, but I would take her with me for sure. So Terry King, Jasmine, damn, you're going to let me pick three, though, damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had to go with my man, Fat Man, um, if, I, if I had to pick. Um, he a funny ass dude, man. I don't know if you checked him out yet. He do this Fat Man. He called it... Uh, the poor man show. Um, okay. You know he do a, he do that little virus. So he he a funny dude. Okay. So, Jasmine March, Terry King, Fat Man, and of course me. Yeah you know, yeah yeah yeah. Of course myself. Um, that would be the lineup. But don't get it twisted though. There's some other people like Richie Santana. He a funny dude. Mm -hmm. Just the whole movement in Buffalo right now is crazy. I really feel like somebody gonna really make it. <laughs> <laughs> is that how you started? You was watching some comedians and you was like, nah, I gotta get up there. Yeah. But yeah, well, when I went, I wasn't going to do it. The first time I ever did it, I was nervous. Um, I told you my man, Billy, he he funny as hell, too. He just he do it a different way. He got a different type of comedy, but he funny, too, though. Um, he told me to come out. I wasn't going to do it. He signed me up anyway. But then I, I looked around, and it, it was just an open mic. And I'm like, I seen a couple people go before me. And I was like, oh, yeah, I got this shit. Because they, they really just wasn't that good. But it was an open mic, though. Um, so I felt comfortable to even do it. Now, had I had went to like a, that day if I had went to like a open mic and like I said, Terry King was there, Jasmine was there, all of them was there, I probably wouldn't have went up there because they really do that shit for real. Not for real. <laughs> so I probably wouldn't have did it if that was the case. But the situation I was in made me comfortable. Like ain't nobody in here professional. It was mostly just drunk college kids, honestly. So it made it even better. That's what's and it's real easy to talk to drunk college kids. Yeah, they came to talk. Yeah. And like, you're right. Say something. Do more stupid. drugs. Hey. Man, if you listen to <laughs> If you listen to You got something. You just to my show. Mm -hmm. Or is that the comedy of it? That could be, bro. There is this one comedian. He's a, he's a white guy. A way back. His, his stick was he's drunk all the time. So he's he got his cup. And he's burping and, and <clears throat> throwing the jokes. Yeah, and that yeah. was funny as hell to them. Yeah. And he was he was a big act. That's where they got the character Rick from Rick and Morty. Where? Yeah, from that guy who was burping and just drunk all the time. Rick and Morty is my shit. I love that shit. Yeah. Right. Let me talk about this real quick. Um, uh, fuck it. So, I went to King City a couple, about a week ago. They had a Rick and Morty uh, raw little uh, robot plate or whatever you want to call it. So, I seen it and I seen the lady that was working there and I was like, oh, that's nice. Blah, blah. She like, oh, you, you watch that? I'm like, yeah, I watch Rick and Morty. What you mean, do I watch Rick and Morty? You don't watch it? No, I don't watch it. So I left, came back, and the, the tray was gone. So I'm like, oh, I'm joking with her. I'm like, oh, you must have bought it or whatever the case may be. She like, no, I don't do that. I don't watch that. My man was me. She said, you watch that too? He's like, yeah, I watch Rick and Morty. You don't watch Rick and Morty? She like, no, because <laughs> no, cause I'm a boss-ass bitch getting to this money. I was like, oh, all right. <laughs> and then I just walked out of the store, right? I didn't think nothing of it. Until I got in the car, and I was like, hold on, a boss ass bitch getting money. Baby, you work at King City, though. <laughs> you work at King City. <laughs> you work at the corner store, like. <laughs> you don't own this. You don't own this shit. I know that nigga that owned this junk. And his second in command, I know him too. You not, none of that. <laughs> you a cashier at a corner store, baby girl. You need to humble yourself, man. So I, wa I watched this Hey Arnold shit. Uh, the girl, Helga, that used to be on Arnold, like be on him all like that. And she said some shit before. She said, when she was writing her diary before, she said, you make my womanhood rumble. What? Or you something like some shit like that, bro. <laughs> When you young, you don't think about it. <laughs> yeah, yeah that's just like, over your head. What is this, this shit? <laughs> he 
make your what? <laughs> Yo. Arnold was a pimp, man. He had it. Arnold was a pimp. For real. The pimp named Arnold. That's what's up. Name football. Man. <laughs> Yo, so when is the next show, bro? You you got something coming up? Yeah, actually, um, the squad that I actually like my team, I got a team, Cowboy ENT, um, Pettyville. Them boys actually got a show November seventh. I'm not doing that show, but it's gonna be a great show still. Um, that's coming up. The next time I'm performing though is December fifth. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. with the same person, Richie Santana. He do a Thursday night live. That's the first Thursday of every month. Um, I'm not on this one, but Still go to that shit. That's gonna be lit. I'm gonna be there, but I'm not performing. Um, so get your tickets, they $10. Um, but if you're looking for me, though, I'll be on December 5th, though. That's okay. Crazy. Where is in Buffalo? Yeah, it's a, it's a spot called Pucho's uh, Old Avencia or some shit like that. It's on Swan. It's not too far from the uh, Pasolita spot. So it's nice. It look on the outside, though. Don't get it wrong. On the outside, it don't look too inviting. <laughs> But when you get in there, it's real nice on the inside. Like when I pulled up, I thought it was like a, I don't know, a concentration camp. <laughs> they got some fences up this high and all that. But it's a, it's nice on the inside. A nice bar. It's a couple ladies back to me. You know, um, shit. Uh, I show a lot of love, but I still feel like I'm the best nigga that's doing this. Um, let's not get that confused. Um, you gonna see me, man? I'm about to move out of town down south trying to really take this shit to the next level. Uh, my goal is to, get, well, short term goal is to get a Netflix special. Um, when when I get that though, it's not if, when I get that, I'm coming back here to shoot that shit. Okay. At the HS, whatever they call it now, Key Bang HSBC. Oh, you going to the arena? Yeah, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna do it like that. Okay. I'm gonna make Netflix put the whole bill too. That's right. Netflix, if you listen to That's yeah, what's up. You like pocket, so. <laughs> oh man, yeah, and if if you can hear any music in the background, it, uh, it's your boy. Yeah, uh, Dini, he from Rochester, man. He doing his thing too. Look him up, man. Uh, he he locked up right now, but his page still doing numbers, man. And he'll be back soon. So, but you know, check him out. D I N I Dini, he from Rochester. He he good. He got some he got some waves for y'all, man. Yeah. yeah. All right, bro. Thank you and peace. Yeah. You know what I mean? We about to, matter of fact, fuck all that. We about to take this shit to the moon, the stars. We going anywhere with it, man. Matter of fact, give me a beat. I'm about to freestyle on these niggas real quick, man. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Yo. Uh, I do this for fun to listen. I said, when they bought me a Dutch with my last buck, so them niggas don't be cheap for my weed. That's my last blunt. You remember my connection? I was plugged with him last month. He a cool nigga, but he about to get his ass stuck. Call my nigga Chuck and tell him to get mashed up. If they ain't trying to give a shit, D saw his ass up. Tank on me, so it's me, bitch. I'm gassed up. I never had plan B. Mom said, that's bad luck. Bitch set him up. Well, you know how that go. He was in the front, so he crept right through the back door. Like, give me all you got, my nigga. Not just what I asked for. All I got and tried to throw me like a half or I smacked him with the yak Cause he must have felt my ass slow Smoking on that purple cause the reason why my eyes low And I'm wanting like a pyro I'm going on that purple flame sort of like a pyro uh. Ooh. Like, hey. like, I'm a comedian, bro. <laughs> Better than some of these rappers out yeah, here, man. Yeah, bro. There's a lot of niggas that came out. I do that too. I, like, I, I, that was really the first thing I started doing was rapping. Um, when it comes to performing, I was a rapper. Well, I wasn't a rapper. I used to rap. The first time I rapped, my brothers was in the... This is how you know this. Was, I'm getting old, bro. I came in my brother's room. I wanted to always be like them boys. They was in there. My brother's way older than me. So they was in their room. They had the little tape player that if you press record and like you press two buttons at one time and it records your voice through the uh, speakers onto the tape. And I did that. And since then, it was just, I was rapping. I don't want to be a rapper though. But I'll battle somebody. I'm definitely into that. I'll do that. Yeah, we're going to see what happens, bro. Yeah. We're going to put it together. Yes, one way sir. or another, we're going we're gonna to get you in there. But see, I want to thank uh, my boy Capital DC for bringing me out here, man. Look at that. We got y'all boys, my man DVD in here, man. Um, thanks for having me here. Um, once again, my name is D'Angelo Washington. That's my actual real name. That's what I go by. Um, and you're going to see me, man. Be on the lookout for me. Peace.